Hey everyone, I'm down here in downtown Albany at the famous 677 Prime. Gonna go inside and meet with the owner, Jamie Ortiz. Come on in. Hey everyone, William Miranda with Miranda Real Estate Group, and I am here in downtown Albany with Jamie Ortiz, the owner of 677 Prime. What a great restaurant you guys have down here. Uh, anytime I have a VIP client that comes in from out of town, a coaching member, uh, anytime we have special events, uh, you're the first uh, place that we think about. Thanks for having me, Willie. I, I really appreciate it. We've had uh, tremendous success here. We've been here for 13 years, going on 14 years now. And on April 25th will be our 14th year. We've put a lot of a lot of hard work and dedication into into building something that really translated to the people of the capital capital region. We've uh, focused a lot on our service. We focused a lot on our atmosphere, and we definitely focused a lot on our food. Uh, and I believe that when you put those three things together and you get them right, you end up with a nice formula for success. And uh, I got to say, every time I come down there, I always get a great meal. Uh, the service is always exceptional. Uh, everyone is friendly and uh, is one, one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite restaurants here in the Capital District. Now, you know the other thing that you guys do very well is events, because we've held a lot of, we, I've had client events down here, uh, we've had our company events down here as far as our Christmas parties and our, and our kickoff events. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little about the events that you guys actually do here. It's funny, so, some people say to me all the time, they come in and they say, you have rooms upstairs? You do events here? And I'm like, yeah, we do events. I mean, we started off small in the beginning. We used to have two rooms. We expanded to a third room, and now we have five rooms upstairs. Uh, they expand into each other. We do a whole number of sizes of events, all types. Now, you guys got tons of signature foods that are out there. I just love all the different meals that you guys have, and you're always changing up the menu. Uh, but what are a couple, uh, say, top two or three signature items that you guys have? What, what are some of your favorites? We have so many appetizers that are you know, well known throughout the capital region. Our seven hour chicken and pork, our tempura surf and turf rolls, our calamari. Uh, and then we have, you know, we're, we're, our steaks are our thing, you know, prime, USDA prime steaks. Uh, we buy only the best that we can get a hold of. We're known for our over-the-top whimsical desserts that are, you know, a little bit too big for the, ta <laughs> for the table to finish. We have anywhere between four and eight daily editions every day, a new different kind of fish, a different kind of poultry, uh, and we feature it. Um, all week long, all six days a week for dinner. Awesome, awesome. You know, you take the time to shake a hand, you take the time to make sure that everyone's meals are correct. Uh, I've seen you even come up to the tables and make sure things are done right. If not, you'll grab it and go in the back and make sure that it's done to their, uh, to their liking. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that really set um, not only 677 Prime, but also I got to give you credit too as an owner because it all starts at the top and you're doing a great job with it. So uh, keep up the good work. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to uh, get in the back, uh, go downstairs and take a look at some of the other recipes that you guys got cooking up for tonight. Let's go make a couple bites to eat. All right, sounds good. All right, what are we making? Well, here we have our, what we call our tomahawk steak. You know, it's like a, it's a giant Barney Rubble steak. Now this is USDA Prime, you can tell by the amount of marbling. This comes from a relatively young cattle that uh, is highly marbled, right? So this here, it's like a, what we call a chuck end because it's got this large spinalis muscle right here. Some of them won't, will have a smaller spinalis and a larger eye. That will be more of a loin end, but this is a chuck end. This is my favorite. You know, people sometimes are a little bit uh, weirded out about it because it's got these large kernels of fat in it, but it's the most flavorful one. It's the most fatty one. Uh, and this one has been aged for 40 days. So what we do is we just take a little simple salt pepper on it on both sides. And then I just rub down a little bit of oil. And then we take this steak and we go right on the big grill start boiling. Now this is an infrared broiler. It's uh, 1400 degrees being radiated from the top. The grill actually just uh, reflects the heat back from, from up the top. So you get some grill marks from the heat from the grill being hot, but uh, mainly it's being simmered, uh, seared from the top. All right, oh, look at that. That looks great. Perfect.
bun? Yeah, I'll try it. Let's see. Wow, that was really good. Really good.